Alright guys, we're four days out from the NPC Nationals. This is going to be my final phase video throughout this 10 month journey as we started January. Um, last phase video was a week out for the North Americans and um, it's been about 12 weeks since then. Uh, I'm going to take you through kind of what I've been doing the final four weeks uh, through my prep for nationals. Uh, carbs have been, just a brief summation, carbs have been very low. I'll use them intermittently, I'll, use them, I'll kind of toggle them. When I feel like I'm flat or whatever, I feel like I need hit energy. Um, but I've been going low carbs and just medium fats kind of most of the day, and I'm going to take you through that right now. So, uh, if you've watched any of my other videos, I did a Halloween special with a little MPA concoction. Uh, pasteurized egg whites with coffee made sugar free flavored uh, variety. Mix in the egg whites, shake it up in an ice cold glass. It tastes similar to a popular product that people buy, but it's cheaper. Um, there are a variety of flavors. This one's the peppermint mocha. It tastes like a chocolate mint. Very good. Um, if I'm not on the go and I want to take my time, I'll cook my food and I'll do two whole omega-3 eggs with about two cups of egg whites. And then I'll add spinach, uh, mushrooms to it. And then recently a good friend of mine at the gym, he actually smoked me some wild caught salmon. And the cool thing about this is that he smoked at a very low temperature, under 160 degrees. So it preserved all the integrity of the proteins, all the natural enzymes, everything, you know, the healthy fats. It's very moist, very soft, and I'll snack on this as well as my protein source. And I'll even rip up pieces and put it in the omelet. Uh, and of course, it's packed with energy filled omega 3s, etc. So, this is phenomenal. I've been using this the last couple of weeks here. Um, moving on, I've been treating myself to uh, sashimi grade fish at our local Japanese market. Uh, this is a sashimi grade albacore tuna. I'll slice it up really thin in sashimi pieces. And of course, I'll have no carbs with it, and I'll be eating it with a low sodium soy sauce and sriracha sauce, of course. Moving on to another meal. Um, I've been doing a lot of slow cooking in the crock pot. So my wife and I, uh, we've been getting, this is grass-fed top round, or eye of round. We get it at a market called New Seasons. Very lean, it's probably two or 3% fat in the meat, and it's grass-fed, and we slow cook it. Oh, also, we do the chicken, too, in the crock pot for like 10, for 12 hours, very slow, low temperature, and it breaks apart. It's very moist. Uh, we'll flavor it with Mexican seasonings, um, different spices my wife puts in there. And I'll actually add some fat-free sour cream to it, and of course, some cottage cheese. Then I'll put sriracha on it, and maybe some kernel seasoning ranch. I'll mix it all up, and it's almost like a taco sauce, um, but of course, there's no fat in it. There's sodium, a little bit of dairy, but as you know, when I'm low carbs like this, I like to keep variables in there. Sodium high because I want to hold water. Um, don't got a lot of energy left, so holding water at this point is totally fine. Moving on, um, here's three meals of, basically, I stir fry asparagus, mushrooms for my vegetables. This is a medley of shrimp, scallops, and a white fish. I kind of just concoct it together. Uh, very simple meal. Scallops are a little bit expensive, but when you've been dieting for 10 months, you kind of treat yourself sometimes. So. Scallops and shrimps are something that I've been treating myself to lately. Um, sticking with the whole variable thing, how I'm very low carb and I want to kind of hold water for energy uh, you know, to create uh, more blood volume whenever I train, have more sweat because I'm training twice a day. I'll have my Carb Masters yogurt, which I've talked about before, which is actually 9 grams of protein. It's a weight protein concentrate in here, only 4 grams of carbs, no fat. It tastes wonderful. And I'll eat like 2, 3, maybe even 4 of these a day which is only like 12 grams of carbs. Um, when I do feel the need to spike up my carb levels, everyone knows I'm a proponent of low-fat pancakes. I'll still do the Krusty's pancakes uh, when I feel the need to after a leg day, back day. Um, here's a, a kind of a unique brand we found at our Japanese market, uh, Hawaiian Sun. It's passion fruit. They have a chocolate coconut and it's low-fat. It's 0 0.5 grams of fat for a serving, so it's very similar to Krusty's and it's added water only. Uh, so this is kind of cool too. Another trick I'm going to bring up for your Krusty's uh, pancake mix, you can actually add your coffee made pumpkin spice, so you get the pumpkin spice to the mixture and make pumpkin pancakes that are over fat. So that's basically it right now. Um, I'm training twice a day still. Sessions are about 30 to 35 minutes. Um, I was doing cardio for about two weeks. Uh, my wife thought my legs were stringing out, thought I didn't need it, so I had to pull back on that. 
at a listener because I'm trying to overachieve and do too much, which is the mentality that you usually have when you want to win. Um, also, I've even been training Sundays three times a day, but even shorter sessions, 20 minutes. I'll go in for the third time and touch up my glutes again, my traps, etc. Um, so this prep has been the hardest, this final 12 weeks of nationals. Um, just invigorated and uh, more motivated after North Americans. And, uh, my mind was made up right after basically the finals of North Americans. I just kind of kept quiet, didn't want a lot of pressure. And so this is why the video is coming out a week before. So. Uh, We'll see you in uh, four, four days, I believe, so please tune in.